Hi, I'm Charlie Kasov. I'm a math teacher, and today we're going to learn how to find the two missing angles in an isosceles triangle. Now, given that you can see the triangle and it's not a word problem that you're doing, what we do is we say, here is in our isosceles triangle, and it looks drawn to scale, so it looks like these are the two sides that are equal. An isosceles triangle means that two angles and two sides are equal. So it would be this one and this one, and then these two angles. So if we're given this as, say, 100 degrees, well, we know that a triangle adds up to 100 degrees, and 180 degrees, rather, inside. So it's 180 minus 100, which is 80. And that means that this plus this equals 80, and they're equal. So then we say 80 divided by 2 equals 40. Now, assuming we didn't have this angle and we had one of the others, it would look like this. So here we know again that these are two probably the same. Uh, these are still going to be the isosceles. But let's say they didn't give us this. They said it was 40. So then we say, OK, well, if this is 40, then this is 40. So you add it up. 40 plus 40 is 80. And you say, OK, well, 180 minus 80 is 100. And that's how you would find the third one. So I'm Charlie Kasov, and you just learned how to find the two missing angles in an isosceles triangle. Thanks a lot.